Hi, my name is Charity Ann Brady, and this is my Encore Hour. I am from Florida and I sing and songwrite, play the piano and some violin too. So I do have a couple fully mixed and mastered tracks and a couple self-produced tracks on my website, charityandbrady.com. And also um, my band's music is on SoundCloud, First in Battle Music. You can find us on Instagram under that name as well. Uh, September of last year, I was flown up to perform at a wedding and during that time, Hurricane Irma was sweeping its way through Florida, my home state, and I ended up being stuck here for over a week, about 10 days. And in that time, although I wanted to just be home with my friends and family and make sure everything was okay, I ended up feeling so at home in Boston. And I knew that was weird because I'm not a city girl. And I just remember feeling like how odd it was that it felt too comfortable walking around the city alone. And um, in those 10 days, I just fell completely in love with Boston. And when I was driving by Berkeley, my heart started pounding. I'm just like, wow, I should do this. All my friends, my family, my band, everything. And I dropped it all, packed my car, drove on up, and now I'm here. And there's no looking back, you know, I, I do miss y'all. But uh, we definitely, um, I definitely know it's for the best and it was what was supposed to happen. There were just all those signs. and. Um, it's a good place to be. I'm, I'm very blessed to have a very supportive family and, and a lot of friends and, and uh, they all support my music and, and, and really big time support my music. Back in St. Petersburg um, there was a fundraiser for me to get a new violin and the money was raised under 14 hours. Um, my school gave me a scholarship and they are the ones that gave me the Boston Steinway piano. There was a woman that passed away and she wanted to donate it to a dedicated student. And they chose me of all these amazing, talented students. And I just remember weeping in the office. So I have been writing in general since I could. And that means like first, second grade. I've been carrying a journal with me wherever I go and being inspired by nature or an event or an emotion. Um, so that's been going on well before the music started. Um, then I picked up the violin and then later came the piano where I ended up putting my poetry to music. So it all intertwined at you know, probably about age 10 or 11. Um, so yeah, how does that all happen? Um, like I said, a lot of it is definitely inspired by what I go through, what I experience, what I see, smell, taste, you know. Um, but I also like the structure of things too. Sometimes I do put my idea or um, song structure in a box so that I can grow in a different way and write something that might be different than what usually comes out naturally. Um, I want to perform as long as I can. I love performing, I love the stage, I love the people, I love doing what I love. Um, nothing can stop me from that. Um, and then one day, yeah, maybe if I'm chilling at home with the family, just writing for other people, that would be amazing too. It's really um, all up in the air right now. I'm just going to keep pushing forward and working as hard as I do and, and harder yet and uh, just see what doors open. And I mean, so far God has blessed me with amazing things and I don't doubt him for a second that it's not going to continue. So it's, a, it's an uphill battle, but it's definitely worth it in the long run. A lot of my music is about that, including one song titled, Do What You Love. Um, I believe that we all need to do what we love. Um, life is too short, you know. Um, if you have to do something else, then do it, but don't forget what you may feel like you're born to do. And if you are an artist or a musician, it can be extremely discouraging um, to just keep pushing forward. Advice from, from me would be, you know, not everyone's going to like it, and, and that's okay. There's going to be 10 people that like it for every one person that doesn't, and you just got to keep pu pushing forward. Um, you know, so much of my music is about that. Um, Ready to Go is about um, a moment when my boss had told me that 
I either need to choose music or choose work full time. And I chose music and I said, I'm sorry, I have to go. That's what it's all about, you know, is, is making those sacrifices and, and doing what you love. Put, put your love on the line, it's worth it. Especially if you're making an influence in the world, you know, um, would you rather die with a lot of money or, or die knowing that you made a difference? I think that's, that's the big question for most people. My name is Charity Ann Brady, and this was my Encore Hour. Thank you so much. We really had a great time, and I hope you guys did too. And I hope you have an awesome night. Thank you so much again for coming.